Start off with making a new adjustment layer. And right out of the gate, if you see that it's grayed out, it's just because you have your timeline selected when you drop your footage in. So all you gotta do is click your project bin, click file, new, adjustment layer. Match your sequence settings and drag that baby over top. Cool. All right, we're gonna take a Gaussian blur, I think is what it's called. Slap that sucker on top and really drag the blurriness up. Go up to like 250. Click repeat edges and set the blend mode to screen. If you don't know what that is, basically all that's doing is making the dark or black parts of whatever layer you have that selected invisible. So this adjustment layer right here was affecting all of the colors that it was seeing underneath. Now it is just affecting the bright or white parts of the footage. So you've got it set to screen. So now if you want to adjust the intensity, you can play with your opacity right here. Something I like to do is go over to color, go to your curves panel and create a point on your highlights and on your shadows and just bring your shadows down on the adjustment layer and that will kind of wipe out some of the blur that's happening on the darker parts. And if it still seems too punchy, you can just drop your opacity down, bring back that sky detail. And if your blur layer is not blurred enough, you'll see this kind of wrapping edge around where the highlights are coming from. Sometimes that works. Um, for an instance like this, I would try to go up pretty high, drop it down, and just play around with the contrast on your adjustment layer to get the highlights to bloom out the way that you want. And so there you go, now it feels like you have that bloomy, promised kind of feel without actually having to bake that into your footage. And if you wanted to, you could grade the sky below that and then still have the bloom react to the color. Just like that. So one way I really like to do it, especially if you like to do kind of like masking style grades and things like that. Uh, next clip is this guy right here, looking kind of dope, but obviously the bloom feels a little too fake just because the wrap right here seems a little too sharp, so you could drag your blurriness even further right there. If you want to, you can just get rid of that, set a new one, make it feel a little bit more real, and then maybe bring your opacity back up. And there it is, now it feels like a foggy day. If you wanted to, you could duplicate that. Drag your opacity down a little bit more. Actually, you could leave your opacity up. You could draw a little mask. You could feather that out. You could bring that down. And now, that blur and that fog layer will react to whatever's happening in the scene. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I personally love using this effect versus shooting with the ProMist filter on set just because of the versatility that you get with it in post. Um, but yeah, if there's any other effects that you want me to talk about or show you guys how I do, just let me know. Thanks, bye.